just take that from uh, the puff and we'll go to the suede. Same, similar uh, mixing ratio. Um, one of the things that you can also use the suede for is uh, uh, matting the, the shirt, uh, the, the ink film. If you just don't like the gloss, you can add one, two, three percent of the uh, suede additive and it'll cut the gloss down. And then you go up to 15 percent and it gives you more of a suede look. And we'll demonstrate that here. You see that a lot when people use black. Because black, for some reason, when dried, sometimes it'll get shiny. And you'll bump in maybe a 5% suede just to, to break it off. Almost like a ghost in printing. Kind of. No, we will cover that style of printing as well. Look so. at this. So, no suede. What's up? Does the off contact matter with tough versus something else? You, Same. Should, you should always have off contact. Yeah. Off um, and the thicker the ink, the marge of the area, the more the off contact becomes yeah, yeah, imperative. Yeah. Um, some people, I remember when I first started screen printing t shirts, I didn't even know what off contact was okay. until I went to a sign shop and started doing um, um, solvent based lettering and um, screen printing. And that was imperative because that stuff starts to dry as soon as you pull it. And if it's not peeling right behind the squeegee, you get those marks. Okay. Um, suede. The mission makes ratio. Yeah. Here's the suede. Right this is the color. So we're going to go ahead and use this um, light tan. And do we have the brown here, too? Yep. The brown's right next to you. We're going to use a light tan. We're not going to need a lot of ink because we're not printing a lot of shirts for this demonstration. I'm going to start off with this light tan. And because it's going to lighten up when it, when it goes to suede, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of the dark brown. And if I had a gram scale, of course, you should um, measure what you're doing, document it so you can repeat it next time. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit of this dark brown. Again, we're going to go for a kind of a tone on tone with this dark brown garment. So this is gonna look really cool. You'll see people use suede a lot in Western style designs. So uh, rosewood font, uh, cowboy boots, things like that, it really comes in handy. Uh, people making like faux leather patches on garments. So uh, suede additive is, is definitely one of the more popular additives that you see out there. I like to reserve it again for the Western style, kind of more funky looking text. Does the suede crack? No. No, if it's cured properly, it will not crack. I mean, like a crackling effect. Can't get that. There is an additive that does do that. Suede additive. Again, about 15% by volume here. And again, I should be documenting it, but they borrowed our scale. It's almost like a PMS method. <laughs> it exactly, should be. Yeah. You can make it <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Yep. You can go online and go to our um, Ultramix software um, on our so in our uh, website and get the Pantone formulas for any color. So I'm going to print. Now this is a thicker screen. You can, you can feel it's a 110 mesh, but there's plenty of emulsion on here. We did that on purpose. Again, you can use it at a lower percentage to give it a matte finish. The timing through the dryers like a puff? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. There's a lot of the same characteristics as a uh, puff would have. Yeah. We'll go ahead and flash this so I can register the other color without making uh, smearing. This also will go glossy if you over cure it. It'll stop, it'll start to come back down.
right? So it's a little two color job. I'm going to do that on a brown shirt. spray will give you a better heat resistance for the flash. So I'm going to go ahead and print this yellow. And because I don't have a white underbase, I'm kind of, you saw me print it a couple times, a little angle, kind of slathering it on there to give it some opacity. Yeah, this is a Ryopake golden yellow, so it's designed to be printed without an underbase. Higher concentration of pigments, truer color on dark garments. Uh, it's a phenomenal ink line. In fact, I'd recommend it for any shop. It's just uh, it's great. Okay, so we're going to run that through the dryer now. Absolutely. How about this? How about we make you one of every shirt? Hey, Keith, save that one, man. Huh? Save it. Uh, backside first, right. uh, the substrate side. Right. Coat it first while it's wet, and then coat it on the ink side, and that pushes the emulsion back to the backside where the shirt is, and that's where you want that emulsion. And you could go two and two, two and three, two and four. This might have been two and four with an open mesh, so it's a lot of emulsion. And make sure that you dry the screen as if it was in the automatic in, in, in the press. Dry it like so the gravity so it pulls down. it down a little bit before it dries. It's a, it's, a, it's a big, it's a big point. What's the point of doing all that work and then drying it upside down? All right, are we done? I think we're done with this one. Okay. 